Hello everyone, today you will meet this which I think is one of the best special helicopters in the game. So let's fly right into it, shall we? To get this special vehicle you need to be on a mission called Three's Company which is marked on a map as a P-Ladder in town town and can be found between the FIB and the IAA buildings. As always that does not work with a mission replay. This is not the same one which you are using during the mission. If you wanna see how to get the mission one check out my other video which shows it. The that we are here for can be found after the mission is passed and when you switch to Trevor. It is very similar to the mission but if you know some secrets it can be a lot better than that. It does have the same red brown looking body color which alone is exclusive to this mission only but it can also spawn with a variety of different persons which in my opinion look very cool and create nice looking color combinations you can never normally see in the game. If you pass the mission and immediately switch to Trevor, you will always get that most boring black person. And since have very scripted spawn locations, we need to do something specific to get other cooler persons from this list. Remember, the more right the person is in this row, the harder it is gonna be to get it. But they are still all equally special on this so you can get any you manage to spawn. Before you go and try to get this helicopter, you need to have one random on Michael's helipad. One can occasionally land on the helipads nearby, although sometimes you need to snipe the pilot to prevent him from taking off again. You can also buy one from the internet if you have enough money for it. You will also need a fast car. I am using a Sentono because I like its speed and handling, but you can always use another fast car similar to Sentono's speed. Go ahead and start a mission with your fast car. You gotta work your way all the way up to the final part where you need to land the in the FIB lot. Skip the cutscene and immediately rush to your fast car which should be parked in this location. We need to take this route to helipad since it's the fastest way there. It's basically the GPS route with slight modifications in some parts. Remember speed is very important here since Trevor will only be possessing this for two minutes after mission pass. If you get inside the fast car, start driving along this route as fast as you can before the mission finally passes and once it does, make a quick save. Quick save is needed in case your driving part goes south or the shine isn't the one you want. Once at the helipad you can make another quick save in this location but I only recommend doing so if you had a very perfect driving path without crashes. Get inside your helicopter and take a similar route to which I show. At this location switch to Trevor and if he's still flying this helicopter you did it correctly and you can check which percent you got. If you get a different cutscene or the shine is not the one you wanted, just reload your quick save and try the same thing again. During my second run I did actually have a perfect driving path so I decided to quick save near the helipad. However, spoiler alert, since I got a very good shine during this run I never needed to reload this particular quick save. Once you have the shine you are pleased with, just place the on Trevor's helipad and drive away and back to get it saved. If you play on Xbox 360 or PS3, spawn locations are different there. So basically it's all the same method but you have no point flying your where I did in the video. Instead, one can spawn in the airport and one can spawn in downtown. So pick one of those locations and fly there instead. You should also have Franklin's helipad not both, since in such case random 
can also land there, helping you get later shines. However, I will say this, that it's a lot harder to get later shines on Xbox 360 or PS3 than it is on newer platforms. What is cool about those platforms though, is that in the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, this also has a blank license plate. Obviously, it is totally invisible though. For the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle depends. It is really easy to simply switch to Trevor after the mission pass and get this helicopter, but depending on which person you want, it can sometimes get really annoying and time consuming if you are constantly having to reload those quick saves. I still suggest investing some time into this though, since it really is one of the coolest ones in this game. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.